Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation on your iPod Touch. Now, um, this is actually a very easy process. There's this tool that automates everything for you. It's called Voltage. Now, we're going to double click this and let it run. Wait, actually, if you're on Vista, you're going to need to run it as, as, as administrator. Now, I'll give you all the files you need in the download. It's only one download to 11 megabytes. It shouldn't take you a while. Now, I, I'll put the link in the sidebar, so just go ahead and download it. Now, this is a very powerful tool. It actually tells you everything you need and um, what you need to have installed. Now, first, number one is 2.2.1 IPSW. You need to have that downloaded. I just downloaded it right here. Now, you also need to have libUSB installed. Now, that's basically the communication tool between your iPod Touch and your USB. Now, basically, that's really easy. All you need to do is hit begin install, but I've already done it, so it's already installed. But yeah, if you're on Vista, you need to actually do a couple extra stuff. So just follow those instructions and you should be fine. Now, um, you're going to need the C++ redistributable package. And uh, you need to install that. So just click the install here and it'll start the installer for you. I've already done all those. So right now I just need to hit next step two. We're going to select the IPSW that you just downloaded. Make sure it's on your desktop. We're going to select and we're going to find the IPSW. There it is. We're going to hit open. It will move the file. And you'll need to wait a while. Okay, so it's apparently done. We're going to include installer.app. Now, we are ready to make the custom IPSW. Now, City is included on default, and um, you can check here if you want installer too. I checked it. So, we're going to make the IPSW now. You'll see a little CMD window. It will start hashing the iPod firmware. You'll see a bunch of random stuff, and... Uh, it should be done with that around uh, 5 to 10 minutes, depending on, your, depending on your computer speed. Okay, so the command window just closed. Now, it, basically, that's that, mean, that means it's done. We're going to go to next step three. Now, this will be the probably the hardest part of the jailbreak. DFU mode. Now, um, this basically, during this process, you need to put your iPod in a uh, mode where your computer can upload the jailbreak information to the iPod Touch without having the iPod Touch detect it. Now, we're going to start the DFU helper for the beginners who do have no idea what DFU mode. DFU stands for Device Fail Safe Utility. And basically what it does is it disables the main OS and the main bootloaders and it actually lets you upload stuff into its hard drive. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to put it in DFU mode right now with this little helper. And um, you will get this helper too, but um, I will try to guide you through it. We're going to hit ready. Now, basically, you hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. Now, uh, that isn't too hard, right? So basically, right after 10 seconds, you let go of the power button and you keep on holding to the home button. Keep on holding to the home button. Basically, you just follow the pictures for another 10 seconds. And then uh, right now it's done. So that's basically DFU mode. So that's the hardest part. Now, um. Go to next step four once your iPod is in DFU mode, which means you cannot turn it on. Okay? Now it's gonna patch the device. We're gonna click on that. Okay, so I see a bunch of random stuff on my iPod. It's patching it. So I guess that's a next. We're gonna go to next step five. Now we're gonna need to put our iPod in DFU mode again for the second time. So you're gonna do exactly as you did before. We're gonna start the DFU helper again. So hold the home and power button buttons for 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna let go of the power button, but keep on holding home for, on the power button for 10 se more seconds. Three, two, one. There. Now it's in DFU mode. We're gonna go to next step six, and we're gonna patch the device one more time, and this should be the last step of the process. And after this, after you press this button, you're going to have a jailbroken iPod second generation. And there it goes. So I'm seeing a bunch of, I see a picture, there's a loading, there's an iPod running. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so it looks like it's done. And um, it's actually showing some, it's, I'm looking for Cydia here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it actually worked. There's Cydia. I'm running Cydia right now. It's loading. <clears throat> I hope this works. Okay, I'm going to try and... Yes, okay, it loaded. I'm going to install Poof. 
install. Yeah, it looks like City is running pretty smoothly on this. Okay. Yeah, so there, there, there's poof on the springboard. Okay, so I think this thing worked. Now, if you have any problems, put it in the comments below or give me a video response or um, send me a PM or whatever. But I'll, I'll try to help you the best I can. Okay, so uh, um, please rate, comment, uh, subscribe. Thanks. This is SP Studios.